from the archives, The Hungry Fisherman. A pair of nautical-themed restaurants were some of the most popular eateries in town. This column originally ran in our May 2016 issue, and it's an article by Vance Lauderdale. Vance Lauderdale. Ask Vance is the blog of Vance Lauderdale's, the award-winning columnist of Memphis Magazine and Inside Memphis Business. Vance is the author of four books, Ask Vance, the best questions and answers from Memphis Magazine's history and trivia expert, 2003, as well as Ask Vance, more questions and answers from Memphis Magazine's history expert, 2011. Vance Lauderdale's Lost Memphis, 2013, and Vance Lauderdale's More Lost Memphis, 2014. He is also the recipient of quite a few nice awards, including the Best Blog 2017 from the Society of Professional Journalists Green Eye Shed Awards. The creator of several eye-catching wall calendars and the only person we know with a vintage shock treatment machine in his den. You can email Vance at askvance at contemporary-media.com. Vance is one of my favorite authors, and it has long been my goal to expose more folks to his thoughts through the magic of audio, video, produced or play on that thingamajig we just can't seem to be without the cell phone. Reading text on those things is for those with much better eyesight than most of us possess. So hopefully he will forgive my efforts to bring more exposure to his work by transforming it to the spoken word. There were actually two hungry fishermen restaurants in the Memphis area, and each one looked pretty much like the buildings shown here on their menus. They were supposed to be rambling fishing shacks, each one overlooking a nice lake, but with a seating capacity of 700. They were also this area's largest restaurants. I keep saying this area because both of these were just outside of the city limits, operated by Shoney's. Did you know that? The first Hungry Fisherman opened on Munson Road, which was just northeast of the present-day intersection of Shelby Oaks Drive and Sycamore View. The second in the chain came a few years later on Goodman Road, just north of where it crosses over I-55 in Mississippi. The Memphis Press Smictar positively gushed about these nautical-themed restaurants when the first one opened, with one column was calling it, with its rough boards and low roof, propped up on wooden piers, an extraordinarily conceived and decorated building, one which is destined to be a talking piece and the object of curiosity for as long as it may exist, and which will then be part of the legend of Memphis. Okay, the legend may be a bit too strong, but lots of Memphians remember these places fondly, and I'm one of them. It wasn't so much the fisherman theme of the place, but the really good food. I can still remember, and taste, the huge platters of fried shrimp, and the ice-cold pitchers of sangria. Lots of pitchers of sangria. The place was jam-packed with nautical knickknacks, oars, navigation lights, a ship's wheel, engine room telegraph, and other seagoing hardware supposedly came from an old World War II freighter, and more than 40 detailed models of ships were mounted on the walls around the large dining room. Salad bars were built in the shape of lifeboats. The menus came on fish-shaped boards, for a while anyway. Bright pennants hung overhead, and the bathrooms were marked for gulls and boys. Both places closed sometime in the 1980s, but I can't give you a specific date. It's all those pictures of sangria, I tell you. The Hungry Fisherman near Sycamore View housed a nightclub called Mardi Gras for several years, but he eventually closed and was torn down. The big asphalt parking lot and the Five Acre Lake survived for years, if you knew where to look for them. The Goodman Road Hungry Fisherman housed the Mississippi Treasures Antique Mall for maybe a dozen years. When it closed, the big building was torn down and the lake filled in. The site is now home to a row of nice motels, part of an office and commercial complex that includes Baptist Hospital de Soto. Vance Lauderdale is the history columnist for Memphis Magazine and Inside Memphis Business. His dramatic life story is so well known that school children are taught to recite it for extra credit. 
If you enjoy Vance's musings, why not subscribe to the Memphis Magazine Weekly Newsletter and find all that is happening now and has happened in and around Memphis. The email is free and you can find the link below this video to get your adventure started.